Class is in session. We're gonna have a good old time. We are bringing you guys a nice, nice dish. We're cooking in class today. I got a special guest with me. We're gonna be doing a stewed brown chicken, a brown stew chicken, or every way you want, call it. But that's what we're doing, but we're gonna give it a little element, element of niceness. We're gonna put more peppers. So basically, a brown stew chicken with a lot of sweet bell peppers. I'm Chef Winston. I'm Kay. That's my sister, and welcome to Floridian Cuisine. Class is in session. Let's get cooking. As you know, I'm a home cook instructor. I love to share cooking. I like to teach cooking, and we always have a good time doing that. My sister, this is Kay, of course. We, she, she loves to cook as well. She don't have a lot of time to cook, but she was asking me, and I got a lot of friends and family always asking me questions about this and about that. So I decided to come on here and teach my sister a different twist of how to cook stew chicken. She knows how to cook it already, but I'm gonna kick it up a little notch with her. So basically I'm doing a brown stew chicken and we're gonna put a lot of sweet bell peppers in it. You see, we did all of this prep. We've got the onions, the carrots, the chicken. We got a lot of good things here happening. And I'm gonna have her do this cooking. I'm gonna instruct her along the way. I'm gonna give you guys some good cooking tips. Hopefully you'll learn something on this. And we're just gonna make it nice, a good old time. So my sister, basically, <laughs> she's the female version of me. We like to dance. We from the Caribbean. We have soca music carrying on. We just start acting a fool and start carrying on and making it done right. So same thing with cooking. So as we're doing this here, I'm gonna show her step by step. So if you jive with us, get your glass of wine, and we're gonna rock it together and cook up this nice chicken. So sis, have you actually cooked to chicken a lot? I have. Mm -hmm. Well, I just want my brother to teach me how to make it a little bit more flavorful. Yes, and that's what we're gonna do, man. We're gonna kick it up a notch. So basically, a stew chicken. Stew brown chicken. Anywhere in the world that you go for a stew brown chicken, they got different ways and different versions and different, we call it different things. Like, for example, in the Caribbean here in America, we call it stew chicken. Some parts of the Caribbean call it a brown stew chicken. Basically, the process is braising. You go over to Italy, they got something called chicken cacciatore. Chicken cacciatore, that's their braising method of doing their stew chicken, have a lot of tomatoes and, and, um, and wine and bacon and stuff like that. You go over to France, they got something called coco van. There's a braising red wine as well, and it's really flavorful. So basically, we're gonna use the same cooking method, which is braising, for this particular dish. So, we're gonna season the chicken first and create a marinade. The way we're gonna create this marinade is this. You can, use a, you can use a Ziploc bag if you like. But what I got here is a nice big bag. And the chicken that we're using, we're using a skinless. We take the skin off, we clean this chicken thoroughly with some lime and all that good stuff. And we're gonna season it up. So basically, if you open this bag, and we're gonna create a marinade with seasoning this chicken. We're gonna take this chicken, this abundance of chicken, this chicken gonna last us all week. We have lunch. We have dinner, all this here. So we're gonna put this in here. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna be seasoning this chicken up. And the way we're gonna season it up, with a basic marinade. The basic marinade, like I said, we're gonna make this chicken taste really, really, really good. So sis, what you wanna do, creating your marinade, you're gonna um, basically start seasoning the chicken. Marinade consists of something sweet, something acidic, a little bit of oil, and um, herbs and aromatics and stuff like that. I'm gonna explain to you why we have to do that, okay? First things first, season your chicken with this salt and pepper. We've got a, a mixture of salt and pepper right here. Go ahead, looking beautiful. Nicely seasoned, we ain't gonna have, we can't have no bland food around here. Okay, that sounds, that looks good. So behind that, what we're gonna do, we got a mepoir. Usually, this is a universal, um, vegetables that you would use when you're making a soup or stew, the braised item like we're doing. Carrots, celery, and onion. In the industry, we call this mepoir. So basically, carrots, onion, and celery, add that to your, your bag. Let's just, 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 just toss that up in there. That's fine. Toss it up in there. We're making flavors, making it taste nice. Cooking with my sister. Yes. We had a grandmother that loved to cook. 
and we learned a lot from her as well. At least I did. I don't know if my sister was paying attention back then. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she was paying attention. But anyhow, this is looking good. So, what, so now we have the maripaw. So we're going to add some garlic. Actually, some ginger. We got some, some chopped ginger. Some chopped minced ginger. Put that in there. And we're going to do some garlic. So what we're going to do, we're going to smash this garlic. Let's get this knife out of our drawer. Let me put this in the back. Pull it up and give me this knife right here. No, actually, give me the, the French knife, the first one. Put that one back. Okay. Perfect. Bring that. So what we're going to do, I'm going to show you. We're going to smash. You're going to put the garlic here and just smash it. Let's get about, for this amount, amount of chicken, let's get about eight of them. Just, just do it that way and then I'm, I'm going to show you how we're going to chop it up afterwards. So those of you who want to learn to cook, like I said, I am a catering coach as long as a home cook instructor. Stuff like this is what I do all the time and I love sharing and showing you guys new technique. So this is looking good, looking good. So by you doing this here, you're releasing the, of course, the fresh flavors from the garlic and when we start adding the other ingredients to this, you're going to see it come, up, come, up, come alive. Perfect, perfect. That's good. So what you can do, so, no, we're not going to put it in just yet. I'm going to rough chop it. I'm going to rough chop it for you. Can, can you do that? Just, just, just rough chop it. It don't have to be nothing fancy. Beautiful. Good. That's enough. So let's go ahead and get all of that garlic and put inside there. Lovely, lovely, lovely. So you got your garlic and you got your... What in there? My carrots. No, the garlic and the aromatics. The, gar the garlic and the ginger is what, is just what you actually have in there. So now we're going to start adding some more cool stuff to this. Now, we're going to add some acid. The reason we're going to add some acid, I got a lime here that I, I, I used for another recipe that I grated, so we're just going to get rid of this. You're going to roll this lime and you're going to cut it and squeeze it in there and put everything in there. The reason we're using acid for this product, the acid is going to help break down the fiber of the chicken and help the flavors to be penetrating so when you're cooking as well it aids as a tender tenderizing the, 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 uh, the meat as well so acid does this great in a marinade so go ahead and cut that and squeeze that in and put the whole thing inside and for that amount let me see yeah squeeze it all up in there i'm gonna roll another one for you for that amount of chicken let me um, give you another half a piece right here Perfect. And just dump it in there. Dump, dump the whole thing in. Beautiful. Looking good. So that's what the acid gonna do right for that. Following behind that, I'm gonna add a little bit of brown sugar. The reason we're gonna put brown sugar into this, once we start serving this, it's gonna start to color the meat a little, aid in coloring the meat. And also, the sugar that to balance out the acidity of what we just put inside there. So add that light brown sugar in there. That make sense? Interesting. Interesting. She learned it. Listen. And this is my big sister. I'm teaching her something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm loving it. We're having fun. Never too old to learn. Never too old to learn, she said. That's right. That's right. So, we got that. Now, we're going to add some oil. Add oil in there, maybe about three tablespoons. I'll tell you when. The reason we add in oil, if we were grilling this, it would prevent the chicken from sticking and it's also going to help it really lubricating the meat. Add some more. Lubricating the meat so when we're stirring it off, it will not stick as much. We don't have to use as much oil in the pan as we're stir um, stirring it, okay? I mean, stirring it. Alongside that, we got some fresh herbs. We got fresh thyme. You know what this is? No. This is a bay leaf. You can get this in a dry form and a fresh form. We've got a fresh form going on here, girl. Mmm, okay. So we're going to put all this in and just dump all of it. Let me, how many bay leaves you got here, huh? You can put all, put all that in there. It ain't going to hurt it. Perfect. Nice. It's looking nice, looking nice. So, what I got here is some paprika. Why am I using paprika on this? Have any idea? <laughs> Coloring. <laughs> That's right. The reason I'm putting paprika inside this chicken here, although the brown sugar is inside as we stir it, is gonna, it's gonna aid in the color. This is gonna help it along too, so we can get that nice, toasty, mm, old smack, finger smacking arm um, color. Okay? So go ahead and sprinkle some of that in, maybe about a good tablespoon. 
Looking good. Perfect. That looks good, that looks good. That looks good, sis. We're gonna follow that with some fresh allspice. Allspice is a unique flavor. Very unique flavor. This one's gonna make this hair pop as well. So, you can get this in a grinded form already, but I like to grind my own. Because when you grind your own, it smells better, tastes better, and it makes for overall good product, okay? So, let me do this hair for you. We're gonna put a few inside here, my coffee grinder, and then we're gonna just let it rip. So you learned some stuff already, yeah? Yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. We cooking. <laughs> okay, beautiful. Now, I smell that. Nice. Yeah? So, so I'm just gonna add this in here for you. Perfect. Let me get this out of the way. So we got so we got our acids, we got oh, so scotch bonnet peppers. We know the scotch bonnet peppers, habaneros, or whatever you want to call them, but these are scotch bonnets. Very, very, very spicy. My sister don't like spicy foods, but I'm gonna show you a trick. Utilizing this scotch bonnet pepper, we're not gonna use it right now. I'm gonna show you a trick how we can use it. It's gonna release this beautiful aromatics of flavors without that spicy punch to make your food food extra, extra hot. But I'm gonna show you that later, okay? So what we're gonna do next is just close this bag, and we're gonna massage all of this stuff together. Get that all, what should I do in massaging? Getting all the good flavors that we put inside there because we're gonna let this marinate in the refrigerator for about, about three hours just so we can get extra flavor, okay? All right. Okay, so open that up, let me see what you did. Wow, look at you, oh, that wow. looks good. Woo, look at this. Beautiful. Smell that. Ah, that looking good, guys. Take a look at that. Looks like a crafty crab. Whoa. Beautiful. So, cover this back up. Wrap it back up, and we're gonna put this in the refrigerator, like I said, for about two to three hours. The, the long, eh, about three hours is good. Then we're gonna come back. We're gonna come back to this. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, it's been about three minutes since I bring it back out of the refrigerator. Nice. It's been chilling there for about a good two and a half, no, about, two, about three, close to three hours, I would say. Open that up. Beautiful. So what are we going to do next, right? We're going to start searing this chicken. The sugars that we have in here, the paprika that we have in here, we're trying to create a nice, colorful sear all, all around. This is a very important stage of this chicken here, okay? We're not going to put all this stuff right now. Take, we're gonna take out the lime as we get to it. But right now we're just gonna start searing. You hold on to this. What we got here is a pot and I'm gonna use some grape seed oil. The reason I'm using grape seed oil, the high smoke, the smoke point on this is very high. And by using olive oil, it will burn too quick. So grape seed oil is a good option to use, okay? So what we're gonna use is a, a, is a heavy bottom pot, which we got right here. Just a little bit of oil and you're gonna start putting one piece at a time. Don't drop it in to burn yourself. Let me show you one just so you can understand what I'm talking about. You take it and just rest it in slowly, okay? So you're just gonna cover the pot, the bottom. We're not gonna crowd the, the, the pan. Get it close enough though, but you're not gonna crowd it. Take off the time, take off the time. We're not gonna put no vegetables or anything in there just yet. Just the chicken we're looking at, okay? You got quite a bit to start staring, so we'll be right back to show you guys what it looks like once you turn it over, okay? This is looking really, really good. So, we got so much chicken, I ended up getting out two more pots to put in the back. But I'm gonna have a full nice recipe on this here that can feed probably about four people. Anyhow, sis, this is looking good. Let's see what this is looking like. Wow! Look how beautiful that looks. A nice color, right? Very nice. Very, very nice. So this is looking really, really good. We had to pull out an extra part just to speed up the process. So we got some more brown chicken back here. So I want you to go ahead and get this and add this to this so we can move on to the next step. Beautiful, it's looking good. Since, since, since you put all that chicken in there, put all this dripping. This is all flavor, let them, let them see that there. Put all that flavor inside, there you go. Get all that nice juice in there. 
put it in the back. We're gonna rinse this out. We're gonna rinse this out in a little bit. Take the spoon and I want you to start stirring. Stirring, get all of that stuff there nice inside there, okay? You're doing a beautiful job. This is looking really, really, really good. In the back stove, what at the back stove, what I got back here working, sis, I've got me some, I've got me some um low sodium chicken broth. Some low sodium chicken broth we're gonna use. So what, in a, in what, a, what, what will that chicken broth do? The chicken broth is gonna be part of the pot the, the liquid to braise. This is gonna be the liquid what's gonna create the gravy. Okay. You got me on that? So now, all of these beautiful vegetables that you was marinating this way, this is where we're gonna introduce this back to the stewing part, the braising part. So you're gonna take this and you're gonna remove the lime. Remove, remove all of the lime, because we don't want no more, we don't want the bitterness of anything here. Let me get this here for you. You can put, you can put it in here for me and put it in the garbage. Beautiful. We cooking up some brown stew chicken with some bell peppers. Stay tuned, you guys are gonna like this one. Perfect. So go ahead and add those in there. Ah, put all that marinade in there. That's all flavor. Let me put this in the garbage here with this. Let me have this. So I want you to get back in and fold it up gently, okay? Looking good. Look at Chef Kit in the house. <laughs> she working it. She working it. All it is is a soca music and a glass of wine. Hey, got me working. <laughs> she's sweating, you see? She pretty, she used to sweat. But no man, she's a hard worker though. She's a hard worker. Yes. It's looking nice. Mm-mm-mm. Perfect. So, so I'm gonna go back here and get the broth for you. The low sodium chicken broth. So what you're gonna what we're we gonna do. We're gonna add this here. We're gonna cover this up in there so you can start cooking. Ooh, See that? I can smell the flavor. Yes. See, we're not gonna cover it and to submerge it. We just wanna put the, cause this is a braising method. At this stage, we want to put the liquid just halfway. halfway. We don't want to put it over to boil. We're making chicken soup. We're making a nice stew. So at this point, we're gonna bring this to a boil. We're gonna cover it up. And while this is cooking, what would you like to eat with this? We got plants and we, got, we could do rice. What would you like to cook? What would you like to do? Rice this? and plantain. She said rice and plantain. But of course, <laughs> did I read a man or what? <laughs> so we're going to cover this up while it's cooking. We're going to jump on some rice and plantain. How about that? All right. Let's see what you're looking like. This is, this is similar. Ooh, look at you. Look at you. Let me have this. Ah, stir it up a little bit. We're going to add some more flavor to this. Just stir. Don't splash it too much so you can burn yourself, OK? This looking good. So check this out. Remember earlier I was talking to you about the scotch bonnet? Yes. I know you don't like spicy food. But here's a little trick I'm going to teach you, right? If you take a scotch bonnet pepper and you pierce it like this. See what I'm doing? Pierce it on about two sides. Just so the liquid can get inside of it. Because the heat lies in the membrane and it lies in the seeds. Once those are exposed, that's what makes it hot. Okay. So we're going to take this whole bulb and rest it inside here because we just want to get that scotch bonnet flavor. Because scotch bonnet got this unique flavor that makes your stews very, very um, interesting. So that's all we're doing right now, okay? So that's that part of it. So, also I got some scallions. All we got onions in here. We like cooking with scallions. What we could do, take off this part, that part, hit it like this, and then cut it in half and put it inside. That's it. Put it inside, you see that? We add in flavor for the woman. Yes. Flavor upon flavor upon flavor. Yes. Okay? So perfect. So we're gonna let this air simmer down. Chicken, stew chicken probably gonna take about a good 25, 30 minutes. We can check it as we go along and adjust your flavors and stuff like that. We'll be right back while this is here cooking down. Everything is simmering down. We're gonna move into our pepper portion. Remember I'm trying to say, remember I said we're making a brown stew chicken, but we're gonna elevate it with sweet bell peppers. That's where this comes in, okay? So sis, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna saute this here separately with some garlic to make this chicken stew chicken even taste, ah, better. But I need for you to cut this here. Do you know how to cut a, a pepper? Yes. You do? Oh, because I showed you a few times. Not from my brother. There you go. Show the people know what I taught you before then. Okay, so while she's there doing that, this here is getting hot 
and I'm gonna put a little bit of whip seed oil inside this. Oh, look, ooh, okay. Master chef in the making. That's right. Chef Kim's her name. Better yes. Pay attention. Better pay attention, they better know. <laughs> I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. That's looking good. Class is in session and she is doing great. So, another thing I want to mention to you, when you're making your stews and stuff, you can add potatoes. Potatoes carry a starch that can help thicken your sauce, but the process that we here doing with this chicken, the more it reduces and stuff like that, the thicker it's gonna get, and it's gonna be all so nice. So we're not gonna put any uh, potatoes in this one here, okay? So this is looking beautiful. So she's there cutting up those peppers. I'm getting the skillet hot. All we're gonna do is saute this and season it really good with some garlic and some salt and pepper. Lovely, lovely. So you just go ahead and you're going to add those to the rest of your peppers, right? And then the garlic, smash the garlic like I showed you before. And in the meantime, actually, you know what? In the meantime, this is what I want you to do. This is nice and hot, ready for you. Go ahead, switch spaces with me. Go ahead and get these inside here. I'm going to do the garlic for you. And I want you to stir this, okay? Get all that garlic in there. Sorry, all of these bell peppers, sweet bell peppers. You see, we got beautiful colors. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Getting the garlic for you. Yes. That's pretty. Very. Very pretty. Are you learning a lot? I am. <laughs> We're gonna elevate your cooking game. I'll tell you. We're gonna elevate, elevate it. So what I'm doing, adding some garlic. So the garlic is for flavor. Garlic is for more flavor. And of course, Right now, if we taste this, is bland, so we gotta season it still, right? So I'm gonna add some more salt for you. Continue stirring. It's looking very, very nice. Look at this. Guys, I'm telling you. Once this dish is done, you get your favorite drink, your bottle of rum, your beer, anything that you make you. Ah, and, and we're gonna cook some peas and right now. Some, some white rice or peas and rice? White rice. So you want some rice rice? We're gonna cook jasmine rice. Jasmine rice is a beautiful accompaniment to this. Some jasmine rice, some sweet plantain. Sit down. We're gonna have a full belly. Tommy gonna be happy. That's right. So stirring that up. So while this is here cooking, we're gonna go ahead and check on our chicken at the back, okay? Perfect. So check this out. This hair is fully cooked. As you can tell, can you smell it? Mm, aroma is nice. <laughs> and it got a nice little color to it too. And it's nice and limp. Did you taste it? Did you taste it? It got a sweet pepper taste. So once we add this to the chicken, more flavor for more flavor. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna bring this two chicken. We just checked it a while ago. This two chicken is boiling now really good and it's just about done. So let's switch this out. So what you gonna do? Put this right here. You got it? Then I'm gonna bring this over for you. Ah! Take a look at this. Look at this, look at this, look at this, look at what you do. Woo! Ah, <laughs> Fish of flavor, Sana! Ah, you're smelling good, eh? So, this chicken has been simmering down for about maybe 25 minutes. And the flavor, let's test the flavor. Remember we put a scotch bonnet in here? We didn't open it too much. Let's take a taste. You found it? Where is it? Ah, oh, scotch bonnet here. So what I'm gonna do, this is what the scotch bonnet looked like. See? It did not disappear. It did not bust open or anything. But we're gonna take it out. Well, you lend the flavor from what it was doing. And we're gonna give this a little taste. Let's give this a little taste. So let me see what we're we working with. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Yo! Yo! You ready for this? Yes. You ready? Yes. You ready? <laughs> you ready? <laughs> taste this. Taste that. Tell me what you think. OMG. Ha! Ah! Yo! And listen, we ain't done yet, you know. We ain't done yet. Chicken, you see the chicken is nice and tender. 
as he was cooking this, he wasn't mixing it too much because we don't want, when it comes to a certain point, the chicken gonna start falling off the bone. We don't want that. We want a nice cooked chicken. And as, as you notice, you see as, we do, as, as it's reducing, it's getting thicker as well. Beautiful, beautiful. Are you liking your creation? I am. Yes. I'm learning a lot. Learning a lot. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna add these beautiful bell peppers. These multi-color peppers gonna elevate this with flavor, texture, and of course, color. color. That's right. So I'm gonna take this here. This is a little hot. So I want you to start um, putting that in there for, for, for that. We're gonna fold it in, okay? We are around the home corner. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let me get this out of your way. So now I want you to fold that up. Girls, this is looking good. It's time to play with it. Yes, you, it is. You hungry? I'm hungry. This has been a good one. I hope you learned a lot. We're about to taste this. We're about to taste this here and see exactly what she made. So what do you think? What do you think? Very good class. Very good class? Yes, I learned a lot. You learned a lot? It was a lot of fun. Lots of fun. So, of course, this bronze to chicken, like I was telling you, we elevated it with the tri, well, the multicolor peppers. This here was a braising method, like I said before. We marinated it for about three hours with all of those flavors. And once we colored it, we add, um, we, we, we add a little bit of chicken broth once it's colored and add back all of that marinated vegetables, the onions, the carrots, the garlic, the ginger, um, all that good stuff. The peppers, we did separately because we didn't want it to melt away in the stew. And you can see these peppers are in this pot and it's looking really, really good. So let's get a, so let's give this a taste, sis. What do you say? Yes, I cooked, we, we cooked some white jasmine rice. Let's get some of that. Some nice rice, nice fluffy jasmine rice. I will do the honors and serve you, my dear. Thank you. Okay. You're going to do a little bit of rice on both of these. We are doing up some brown stew chicken with some bell peppers. Floribian style, Chef Winston style, Chef K style. <laughs> what? What? She coming from my job. Put a little bit of sauce here for you. Look how beautiful and thick this sauce looks. Mm -hmm. mm? That's for you, my dear. Yeah. Of course, we're gonna give this a taste. Hold on, hold on. Don't be tasting without me, man. <laughs> I want to enjoy the moment with you as well. You guys, don't get too mad at us. Don't get too mad. Oh, look at this. So I want you to smell. The reason we got, oh well, yeah, the, listen, the rice, we didn't season the rice too much. All we did was a little bit of water and a little bit of salt and a little bit of oil because you want the chicken to be the star. The rice is just a side kick and a compliment to this dish. So, sis, go ahead and dive in and tell me what you think. Listen, this is really good. Like always, all I want now is my soca music. Listen, I need a moment. Mm, 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 mm. Get in here. Is it spicy? Not spicy at all. Chicken nice and tender. Guys, once again, Thank you for joining me in another episode of Floridian Cuisine. Don't forget, please, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Every week, we bring you guys fresh, brand new content right here, same time next week. Join your boy. Cheers. Cheers.